what do you think is the best way to support our true father, King of Kings, uh, Three Kingships, and a Taishin Jiao? What, what do you think is the best way that we can support them? Those are all the same person. Um, the palace, the number on the palace is 154. Um, this is the, the dying wish of Father. His last prayer is that centered on the 14 children, tribal messiahs, would restore nations. Father in his last prayer did not mention the church. He mentioned the unity between um, his children, his able type children, his physical children, and his children, his physical children through the blessing process. Tribal Messiah. Tribal Messiah. And that the restoration of nations would happen because of the work of Tribal Messiah. So, at the very least, at this point, I could say that we aren't talking very much about Tribal Messiahs. And we won't if we can't even assert ourselves as Tribal Messiahs individually. Well, I, I, I reject that possibility that we'll forget. Because I'm not going to be an example of one who forgot who I am. So, on January 1st, we were told to put on our crowns, so we should. We were told that it's not funny. We were told that we should try to make a crown that is worthy uh, of, of kingship and pass it down uh, to our children as something that actually has value. So we should try to make a crown that actually really is kingly, you know. Uh, we were told. You cannot wear a crown without your spouse. This means, this is the realm of coupleism. The reason why you're sovereign is because of the blessing. So if, if in, in the king's ruling, if you're not a couple in good standing, you can't wear crowns. So this also says that our kingship or sovereignty is based on the blessing, not the dirt. So I want the first phase is that we enter a realm of faith in our new identity. The extension of the glory of True Father is that He created tribal messiahs, not that He created the church. His pride at the end of His life in His final prayer, His hope for the future, is that the tribal messiahs, His greatest creation, and I say that based on 99, right? The creation of blessed families is more valuable than, than anything else and makes God happy more than, make God, Jesus, and true parents happier than anything else. So his greatest creation, his hope in his greatest creation, is that we would go and become th th those who could restore nations. So it would be a free market of various tribal messiahs cross-fertilizing one another. The expansion of the realm of the win-win situation because of how we sow into one another's ministries. This is, is, is a realm of competition, heavenly competition, um, and charity, because tribal messiahs need support from other tribal messiahs. So it is the place where charity is supposed to be uh, enacted uh, and, and practiced. Um, it should be decentralized. Uh, people should feel that they should sow into either their own tribal activities, their neighbors or whatever they're doing for their neighborhood or whatever. Uh, and they should feel like, hey, if I don't want to do something, this other tribal messiah is doing something that really inspires me. And he's more inspiring than the other tribal messiah, so I'm going to put my 10% there, or a portion of my 10% there. It should be this realm of win-win and cooperation, you know. Um, and the church, whether it feels threatened by that decentralization, should swallow it. It should take it, like the archangels should have.
taken the fact that at the days of Adam were upon him, and that he should remain a good archangel. And 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 he, the same type of counseling that God gave Cain. Don't you know that if you do good, you'll be rewarded? Well, the church should take that attitude. That they should continue to do good and not worry so much for the, for the organization itself. And they should really hope for a vibrant realm of tribal messiahs in the heavenly competition and free market to replace the old stagnant um, era. We should not be trying to as a, as, a, as a goal or a first milestone or seek as a stepping stone the recreation of family federation. So that's sort of like, um, everything fell apart. Okay, let's, let's just build everything back up the way it was and then we'll get started from there. I mean, that is, that is stupid. The, the whole thing with uh, let's make our church great again. That, that essay written by Lord Schwartz happened, I think, the very first week after the... the, the the entrance to the palace. So, this struggle between the church and the newly crowned tribal messiahs is not really about Lord Schwartz or me. It is about the church era coming into conflict with the tribal era yet again. Because, as I said, home church era, the 90s, it's here again. But that wasn't it. Home church era was not the first time. Decentralization is a threat to the Archangel way back in the garden at the time of John the Baptist, 1945. So it's still our problem. It's still, like I said, whoever's in charge of the church has to do good instead of doing some act of killing Adam. Right. Yeah, the, church, the church can do a good job raising up people to understand principle for God, but then at a certain point, God let, let the children go once the children understand, right? That's right. You know.